Hey guys, it's Hector here, and today I have my very first guest for my channel, and his name is Jacob, but he goes by the Sphinx on his YouTube channel. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about your channel? Like, what do you do at your channel? Okay, so um, on my channel, I am the Sphinx, and for a lot of my videos, I do uh, different kinds of videos. I do reaction videos to popular anime videos, such as Anime's Got Talent, Anime 404, those kinds of things. And then I've also been working on creating a audiobook series for the Spice and Wolf light novel. And so those are kind of the primary things, but occasionally I'll throw in certain anime music videos and other stuff from time to time. Yeah, so on my channel I've covered a lot of different things explaining what stuff is, like what is manga, what is anime, and stuff like that. But I don't think I've ever covered light novels. Can you explain what light novels are? Uh, light novels are pretty much, um, they're like normal books, except they have occasionally, usually a dozen or so um, anime, almost like stills, uh, pictures that are within those. So it's kind of like, it's pretty much like an anime, but just a book normally. It's hard to explain without actually <laughs> having one to show, but um, a lot of uh, popular anime series are based on the original light novels. So, Yeah. <laughs> And um, how long have you been running your channel? I have had my channel for about six months now. I just recently got started, and I've just been trying to work at it, put out videos, and just see what happens. And so far, I've had a lot of feedback and a lot of ways that I can improve my videos, and that's what I've been working on. Is this, is this your um, very first YouTube channel? Uh, I have had a couple in the past, but most of those were just kind of to mess around with, and I didn't really upload regularly and that sort of thing. So this is my first, like, Oh, I don't want to say professional YouTube channel, but my first, you know, serious one that I'm uploading s fairly regularly on. Right. And um, so what exactly is Spice and Wolf? Because I've heard of it a number of times, but I haven't really gotten into it. Like, how would you explain it to people that you want to get into that fandom? Uh, Spice and Wolf is a series. It is both an anime, manga, and light novel. And they actually just came out with a sequel to the light novel, which ended, I think, a year or two ago. And they're coming out with another one. But it is the story of a um, the uh, traveling merchant by the name of Kraft Lawrence. And he goes around with the wolf god Holo, who is um, who looks like a girl with uh, Nika or with wolf ears and a tail. It's hard to explain, but. Essentially, they go around, and he's bringing her back to her homeland without trying to spoil too much for you. Okay. Um, and so, like, when did you start getting into, like, anime and light novels and just all this Japanese and otaku stuff? Well, I got I first got started with, um, actually, anime, and that was probably five or six years ago, I think it was. I was on iTunes, and they had a free giveaway of a couple TV series, and I saw an anime by the name of Angel Beats. And so I'm like, hey, I'm going to check this out, download it for free if they're giving it away. And from there, I'm just like, hey, there's this thing called anime, and I've been in it ever since. Yeah. Well, um, some people sometimes, you know, get started on more kid-friendly anime, but they don't really call it anime, like with Pokemon and then Doraemon and stuff like that. Did you at least watch any of those type of things when you were a kid? Uh, I watched Pokemon, but that was about it. Um, other than that, I hadn't really heard of it much, other than Pokemon. So, yes, you could say Pokemon. Do you ever get in those debates over, like, is this considered an anime and is this considered a cartoon or whatnot? I haven't really gotten into those debates too much, just because, you know, I'm not entirely sure on all of the specifics about it, for the most part, but, yeah. Do you? <laughs> Um, well, I've gone in a, quite a bunch of debates, and I've tried to even explain it on my channel. Like I said, I try and explain certain things, and I figured I explained it the right way, both for Japan and for the U.S., or even just, like, Western countries. But some people still disagree with me, even though I thought I kind of covered the whole spectrum or oh, whatever. Oh, okay, yeah. And how old are you exactly? I am 17 years old. Uh, so, um, and then you said you've been watching anime for about five years, roughly, you know. Yeah, five years, give or take. 12. Well, um, how do other people around you get the sense of anime? Like, are they like, whoa, that's kind of weird stuff, or is that, are, 
Or they usually are like, oh, that's fine, or that's cool, or whatever. I actually find that a lot of people that I know, at least for friends and other, some family, they kind of get a little weirded out be about it because they kind of hear a lot of the stereotypes, get it, you know, they hear a lot about, you know, hentai and that sort of thing, and <laughs> they, they hear all these bad things, so they don't really understand what it's about. But I do have some friends that are into it, as well as a couple family members, some cousins that enjoy anime as well and actually know it for what it is. And have you joined any, like, um, forums or groups or anything, talking to a lot of other people about, like, anime or the light novels or anything like that? Um, I've done some stuff online with people, and I've also gone to a anime convention that's in my area, which is West Michigan. And it's called JFAX, and they do a bunch of anime Japan-related conventions and get-togethers and that sort of thing. Yeah, um, you were saying something about you've been to conventions. Was that, like, the only convention you've been to, or have you been to, like, a bunch? Or um, There aren't a ton around me, but I have been to that one in Grand Rapids Comic Con. So that's another one near me. And other than that, I really haven't had a whole lot of chance to travel just because I don't have the funds right now. And yeah. conventions can be very expensive, especially if you want to buy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I've only been to a few. And like once you see all the stuff that, that's there to buy, it's like... It overwhelms you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because you said there's the Grand Rapids, was it, Comic Con? Yes. So... How big would you say it is? Because uh, there's a number of Comic Cons like all around the U.S. and some get like massive, but I don't really know about your area. Um, I'm not sure the exact number, but I believe it was a few thousand people that showed up. They were, I know they were pretty packed for the, what they expected, uh, but I don't think it was as big as you know some of the big, big ones you hear about. I mean, in any convention like PAX East or Anime Midwest or Los Angeles Comic Con or... Or what is it? San Diego Comic Con, not Los Angeles. Yeah, well, I think San Diego, and don't they have one in New York also? I think those are the biggest ones. Yeah, yep. They have got some, those have some pretty big crowds, but I think around here they only get a couple thousand at most. And do you have like a favorite anime or light novel or anything? Oh man, <laughs> picking a favorite's always hard, but I've really enjoyed the Spice and Wolf series as well as a kind of. I think it's a music, manga, anime project called Kagero Days and Makaku City Actors. And I really enjoyed that one as well. So what would you say is the whole spectrum of stuff that you've ingested? So we have anime, we have light novels, we have manga, I believe you said you've read? Yes. And is there anything else that um, you've experienced and that you like? In terms Maybe some of Japanese like otaku. video games. Or, um, and you said you haven't cosplayed before, right? I have not cosplayed before. I know one of my two of my cousins do cosplay, but I haven't. Um, other than that, I really haven't gotten into a whole lot of that you know, subculture yet. Um, I suppose we'll see where it goes in the coming years, but so far I haven't gotten into anything other than anime, manga, and light novels. And what about video games, though? Are you a big video game fan? Uh, I do enjoy some video games. I don't play a ton just because it takes up a lot of time. But I do like some of the JRPGs and that sort of thing. Do you have any sp specific favorites of the JRPGs? Um, I'm trying to think. There's so many. Uh, just name a couple that you've played recently, maybe. Or the past couple years. Um, I've like Final Fantasy series. That's a good one. Uh, I, I can't even think right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just a lot of them. So I guess that's it for my very first interview. I hope to have more people on in the future. I guess we'll have to see what happens with that. But I want to thank Sphinx, also known as Jacob, his real name, for joining us. And um, I will leave a link in the description in case you want to go check out his channel. Definitely sub subscribe if you want to see the Spice and Wolf stuff and various other Japanese things. I think I saw something about a Japan Crate in your videos, too. Ah, uh, yes, I did do a Japan Crate unboxing a while ago. Oh, uh, but it was just that one? Ah, uh, yeah, I haven't been subscribed to them for a couple months now. Okay, but... You said you're going to be doing a lot more content, trying to do it regularly and coming in the future? Yep. 
Definitely. So yeah, definitely subscribe if you want to see all that kind of stuff. Yeah, thank you for having me.